Hi, I'm Nick. Hi, I'm Ben. Good morning, Good morning Mount Vernon, Lisbon. Lisbon. Hey, I'm Lisa White here in the Scott Alumni Center, and I just want to say good morning, Mount Vernon and Lisbon. Hi, I'm Kristen Anderson, and I'm at the Mount Vernon Middle School Music Room. Good morning, Mount Vernon, Lisbon. Hi, I'm Maddie Seen at the Smithsonian Exhibit. Good morning, Mount Vernon, Lisbon. Good morning, good morning Mount, Mount Vernon, Vernon and Lisbon. Lisbon! I'm Kim. And I'm Joe. And we are supporting, promoting, and supporting the awesomeness in the Mount Vernon Lisbon area and surrounding areas this week and month with all of this going on. Yeah. Did you get this in your paper? Woo! Hometown teams. Look inside to learn more about our businesses and events, the players who make this a winning community. How it's cool. True. There's it's Matt Kroll Matt on the Kroll's front cover, Scott, Scott Morningstar. Morningstar. If That's I could really get neat. my fingers to work, I would open it up, <laughs> but I don't know how to get my fingers well, to work. Well, there's all these like really fast facts in here. Did you know? No. Did you know? No. I can't get this Did open. you know for easy troop movements throughout the new Iowa Territory, the military road was built between Dubuque and Iowa City around 1838. A crest on a hill became a good place to take breaks. Thus, Mount Vernon developed on that hill. Now Highway 1 and 1st Street. According to this. One hill of a town. One hill. <laughs> Lisbon has only one of two boulders ever removed from the Gettysburg battlefield. The four-ton boulder is located in the cemetery, and I imagine it's never leaving. <laughs> never, ever, Who ever. wants to steal a four-ton boulder? I dare you. Double dog bear. Double dog bear. Yeah, it's gone. There you go. That's awesome. This I will love be that. This is for all these guests that come into town and tell all, all about our two towns uh, and what we're doing and why we're so cool. So there you go. Yes. As if this big Smithsonian exhibit wasn't enough. Woo! Oh, that reminds right. me, maybe we should get to the secret word. Well, maybe we should. <laughs> We're so excited. All right, here's our secret word, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Are you in. ready? Okay, here we go. Take me up to the ball. Can you read that? Game. Take me hey, up Charlie, to the ball. Charlie, can you read it? Crowd. All right. Buy All right, some very good. And crack now, if you hear that word, I and I want you to no, know you can come out, you can <laughs> just scream at the top of your lungs. Go right up to the screen. And Charlie in the studio audience, you just scream from right there, okay? We have a studio audience, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, we do. Um, three. We have Thousand. Three. <laughs> yeah. Hard to fit them in my kitchen. I know, it's really fun yeah. when we have a studio audience. Because then and I have to feed them afterwards, and that's a lot of soup. Oh, we got soup today? What kind of soup you got? We have ham and bean. Okay, I'll have some. Okay. Yeah. Great. I got ham and bean soup coming, ladies and gentlemen. All right. So. We've done that. Well, let's okay. talk about this. Oh, yes. It's our favorite. And, you know, this is interesting because this exhibit that's coming in is called Hometown Teens. Yes. And? It's this, Hometown Teens. Yep. There we go. Go and, us. And look at what we've got. What do you got? What we've do you got, got a hometown teamer here. Oh, we do. This one is playing basketball. There's the basketball. There's the basket. Yeah. And it looks like they're in the old middle school gym. This is L A. Oh, Ella. Ella. <laughs> Ella. <laughs> Ella Wilson. Yes, it is. Okay. And that is also the name of a sports equipment. Wilson, sports equipment. Speaking of Wilson, he's right behind right us. Right there. He found a Good friend. Good morning, Wilson. Don't city fight is, the city. City is jumping. <laughs> okay. Yes. What do you got? I got, oh, oh, Lydia Woods. Lydia Woods. Ooh, yay. Is that your niece? Great no. niece. Great niece. Cousin's cousin. daughter. Second cousin. Yes, second cousin. Oh, I always get confused. I know, once you get I just call up all my nieces and nephews you at do, point. Which is also confusing for those of us around him. But anyway, <laughs> soccer. Look at all the coloring in this soccer. That's game. some really, oh, that's, that's a beautiful sunny day. Coloring in the, oh, look at the grass. Oh. Lydia Woods, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, and look at the red hair. Hmm. Oh, cool. She's and lucky got number some seven. siblings that have some red hair, or some cousins that have red hair. A yes. brother. And a brother. <laughs> And some birds in the sky, because it's a beautiful day for soccer. Thank you, Lydia and Lydia, L.A. Job. Wilson. Ella. Ella, Ella Wilson, Wilson, not L.A. L.A. I used to live in L.A. You did. I visited. Not when you lived there. But. You All right. Then. That is awesome. Oh, remember, if you guys have something. Oh, yes. Yeah, some uh, kid art. And we do need some. So, please, you guys get people. to work and send us your kid send art. Send it. Truly, my goodness. Or give it to us on the street. Yeah. Or something. I know it's precious, Drop but I also know you've got 
crap tons of kid art in your house. He said crap tons. <laughs> Oh my gosh, we're gonna get we're gonna get bleeped by the we sensors. We are gonna get some angry mail now. <laughs> hey, I know you got a lot of it. Oh, so boy. send it on in because we it treasure here. it. You can send your angry we mail here too. Like <laughs> no, send those directly to Kim. Oh. <laughs> All right. P.O. Box one two nine, Mount Vernon, Iowa five two three one four. four. Woo. All right. All right. Woo. That was fun, and we haven't even started the news. Oh, I know. which reminds me, what? It's time for the. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is your Mount Vernon Lisbon breaking news. Volume 150, number 11, March 15th, 2018. Well, that's Two days today. before St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, oh, St. Patty's Day. With everything going on in town, I almost forgot about that. I know. Whew. Okay, well, we'll have to take some time and put something green on and yep. go have fun. Find a shamrock. So wash my shirt out and put it back on. Oh, please do. I will. Okay. Put it back on or wash it out. All right. Here's your breaking news, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Woo! All right. Guy. <laughs> We're not going to start there. <laughs> but guess what, ladies and gentlemen? What? Mount Vernon is finally exploring Railroad Quiet Zone. Really? Yeah. So the city of Mount Vernon is exploring what it would take to get a quiet zone for the railroad crossing at 8th Avenue Southwest, that's Springville Road. Uh -huh. City Administrator Chris Nosbish told the City Council at its March 5 meeting that the city could bring in quiet zone technologies, that's a company, uh -huh. uh, that assists communities in setting up railroad quiet zones. So what does that mean? They can't blow their whistle while they go through town? Is yeah. that what it means? Yeah, so it's a... Uh, well, okay, so they, they have to do it at certain places, right, right, right. but they don't have to do it every time. Okay. So um, it says right in here, so okay. um, a quiet zone has been requested by residents more than anything else, said Nosbish, and that is true. I've heard yes. that several times. Oh, there's a, a friend of ours that we know, mm -hmm. Braden Rude. Yeah. She grew up on the tracks. <laughs> on the tracks? <laughs> Right by the thing. It must have been really hard to see. <coughs> so she knows all about how noisy those trains are. Yeah. We'll have to have her on. Oh, wait. So that, here we go. Federal regulations require trains sound their horn 15 to 20 seconds, about one quarter of a mile before reaching railroad crossings to yes. warn people they're coming. They're coming. And a train horn puts out a very loud sound of 100 to 110 decibels. In Mount Vernon, that means hearing a train's horn at three locations Irish Lane. 8th Avenue, Springfield Road, and Highway 1. Whoa. So, yeah. So horns don't need to be sounded in quiet zones because equivalent protection measures would be in place, such as a barrier that wouldn't allow the tracks to be oh, yeah, crossed. Oh, okay. And then, so anyway, so that's what this is about. Okay. And they're going to start talking so about that So they're doing some, they're exploring. Exploring, that's a good word. Explo well, that's but what it's not right the secret there. word. Explores. But, but it's a good word. It's right over there, you're going to yep. knock it off. Yep. Yes, good. Well, that's interesting. I'll be anxious to hear how that goes yeah. and what, that's, what comes of that. So, um, Relay for Life is coming. It is. So, this is March 30th, right? Yes, Everybody knows this? Yes. Okay, so Cornell College and the Mount Vernon Lisbon Communities Relay for Life is planned for Good Friday, March 30th. The mm -hmm. event runs from 6 to 11 p.m. in the small multi sports center. You know where that is, right? Yeah, and it's not the size of the sports center, it's the name of the sports center. Always confusing to me. Anyway, okay. go ahead. The event is a fundraiser for the American Cancer Society. Mm -hmm. Kicks off with an opening ceremony honoring everyone who's been affected by cancer. That's right. And everyone who has contributed to it's the quite. success of this year's relay it's season. It's quite lovely. It's a quite lovely experience. They work real hard um, to put that together, and it is a lovely uh, experience if you have any uh, connection there. So, or if you don't, if so you just like to support it. They've also got this... Uh, there will be also be a survivor and caregiver walk, yep. and this luminaria ceremony and a closing it's ceremony. Beautiful. So you know what I want to do because uh, I was given um, our friend Hannah yes. Gansel gave me some little bags. Uh -huh. Let's next week bring them on and we'll color, color them yep. with um, uh, sayings for people yes. as they're walking. Keep going. Yes. Thank yes. you. Yes. Love you. Whatever. Well, and well, and also what they do too is you do it in memorial memoriam of someone yep. who has has either could, passed or you know, not. But fighting cancer. Let's do that. I think it'd be a good idea. We do that next week. Maybe Hannah would come on the show. Oh, good idea. I like her. She's delightful. Yeah. All right, watch out, Hannah. Okay. Now here we go, everybody. Oh. This is what you need to know. We have a Smithsonian. Woo! Woo! If you have not heard, you need to clean out your ears. <laughs> so there's several stories about it in the paper this week. And several million. It's awesome. It's like, it's totally awesome. Look at this. 
Who Look can at read that. that? Look at that. <laughs> Is that the biggest ad you've ever seen ever in your Woo! life? That's huge. I love it. All right. So here we go. We'll start here. Yes. The FSCC, you know what that is, right? The old middle school, Rick and Trudy's building, the First, first street, street Community Center, Center, 221 First Street Northeast. Yes. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> They're the first stop on the statewide Museum on Main Street tour. Say that again. First stop. First Which stop. Which means we're the first ones to get it. We're the first <laughs> ones. <laughs> Take that, Atumwa. Second ones. Kia Cuck. <laughs> no, Kia Cuck doesn't get it. Oh, okay. Tumble gets it. Well, take that. Ames gets cut. it. Okay. You want to go to Ames to see this thing, or you want to come right here? Come right here. In this historic gym. Yeah. It's awesome. All right. So the Iowa Economic Development Authority's Main Street Iowa program, in Woo! cooperation with local Main Street programs in Mount Vernon, that's uh, us. Joe Jensen. Ames, Conrad, Guthrie Center, Jefferson, and Ottumwa will celebrate this at this connection as it hosts hometown teams, how Sports <laughs> Shape America. A traveling Smithsonian Woo! from the Smithsonian's Woo! Museum on Main Street program. So, hometown teams as well as local exhibits featuring memorabilia from Eastern Iowa communities will be on display at the First Street Community Center March 18th through April 29th. All this week, I've been working with these, these museum exhibits and some wonderful volunteers. Yes. Including, <laughs> including this one and that one. And, He'll, no, be not that. He'll be over. Yeah. They'll okay. be over. But Everybody. anyway, so we've been working on it this weekend. It's been really exciting. Oh my gosh. It is incredible yeah. to watch these volunteers yeah. come together and bring out their stuff. And, uh -huh. Oh my gosh. I want to show but, you this picture. Okay, back up ahead. for just a second. Back it. How long have you been working on this program? According to the sun, four years, I think. Hear that. <laughs> has four it been that long? Years. Maybe to the sun, it must have been. Four right? years. Yeah, to get it here. To get it so here. it's really an exciting project, and I can't tell you how overwhelmed and how proud I am of the volunteers that have done this. Oh. We've got a committee, probably there's 20 people on that committee mm -hmm. been working together mm -hmm. for several years talking about how cool this exhibit is going to be, and now we're yes. building it inside the old gym, and it's yes. just really coming together. And I think that um, once we get through this, I think we're going to, are we going to go talk to, isn't Brayden talking to somebody today? Well, I sent her over there, Yeah. so I don't know. Who knows? No. Maybe she's... Gonna go do something else. Maybe. Maybe we'll just find her in that picture, in that photo picture, going, hi. I'm yeah, done. this is what I want to show you this picture right here. Oh, it's so Can good. you zoom in on that? You see this one up here? Uh. Okay, so this is what this display cabinet looks like that Jim Moore pulled out of his building. You know Jim? Yes. And he donated it to us for this exhibit. Uh. Okay? It looked like this, it was in bad shape. And, um, oh. Uh, wait till you see when you get to the exhibit. Stunning. So these two here, uh, Miranda Donnellan and uh, Maddie uh, Steen, mm -hmm. uh, put it back together. They used some chalk paint from uh, Scarlet Boutique across, not across your street. It's across another street. Yeah. Yeah, it's not anywhere near where we are now. No, it's not. <laughs> it's not anywhere near my kitchen. <laughs> At all. But anyway, but anyway, we got some paint from her, and they did this chalk paint on it. It it's, makes it look really it's nice. Yeah. Yeah. So, and that's the kind of work that everybody's been doing on this thing. Oh, it's true. It's, it's true. been really neat. So, anyway. Excellent. So, Excellent. Excellent. is there I, anything else in the paper besides well, let's see. hometown team let's, stuff? Let's go to page two now. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! It's gonna be a long one. <laughs> Guess what? Get rest. Lisbon fifth graders have graduated from Dare. Oh, good for them. Yeah, so that's an important program. More than fifty Lisbon fifth graders successfully completed their drug abuse resistant education. That's Dare. Yes. A program with Lisbon police officer Amy Ford. There she is. Yeah. Is she? There? Is that her? Yeah. Oh, I've, I've never met her. I'm okay, we have to have her on. We, we talked about her a long time ago. Well, you did. She was busy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. This she's is she's Ford's first Dare graduation program. Nice story about this. And she has a, those precious is that a quote in here she tells about it. she still has her certificate when she was a fifth grader and went through oh. this. Was that your story? That was no, Margaret's story. Awesome. But anyway, you read that. It's really yes. kind of cool. Nice kids. All right. Okay, we got a teacher who's published. What? Teachers work probably published. It says right here. Nathan Countryman. Oh, this is a Nathan story. It's a Nathan story. Amelia Kitty, secondary instructional design strategist at Lisbon School District and a graduate of Mount Vernon High School. So she's in both wow. communities, good for her. Has a short story published in the new anthology, Running Wild Anthology of Series Volume 2. I love that name. Running Wild Anthology of, of what? Story. Wild, of Running Series. Wild, of Series Volume 2. Yeah, right. wow. Her story is called Idols, I-D-Y-L-L-S, of the King. 
And it takes its name from Alfred Lord Tennyson's book of poetry about King Arthur. Well, interesting. Did you I read that one? I didn't. <laughs> I, I know about King, King Arthur, though. Okay, yes. yes. And Alfred Lloyd Tennyson, I guess yes. you can't go wrong there. Lord yeah. Tennyson. It's All right. John's got a big old. Yeah, there's a lot of Marian stuff yeah. in here. I didn't understand oh. that either, but okay. good for them. So, big All right. Article. Oh, great, great. nice editorial here. It says, oh. Mount Vernon's Bijou Theater is a real gem. We already knew that. We already mm -hmm. knew. But there's a nice but one But it's always there. nice to yeah. remi be reminded. Because it it's says, awesome. if you have not been to the Bijou in a while, I encourage you to go. I also wish to thank Chris and Kira for being such a great asset to our community. Thank you, Chris and Kira. We got some nice assets. And yeah, Bia. absolutely. Yeah. So there you go. Very cool. Um, everybody's talking about Old Town Team. Mar oh. Margaret's got a um, excited to hear the stories. editorial in there. So yes. here we go. Oh, the uh, library's shouting about hometown teams. Everybody loves the Smithsonian. Woo! Yeah. Are you a sports fan, a marching pep band enthusiast, and an athlete, all three? Then we have a great news for you. The Hometown Teams of Sports Shape America free exhibit is opening this weekend. Yes. Cool Library is participating by showing the movie the final season. Do you remember that movie? You haven't seen it? I don't think he was born. We actually have an exhibit yeah. that is actually showing the movie. So if you get tired in the exhibit, you want to just sit and watch a movie for a while. That's awesome. And I think that's the one that they have a scene maybe that was shot at Sutliff. Who remembers? I think you're right. Yeah. I, think you're I remember right. watching it yeah. years ago and saying, oh my gosh, it's totally Sutliff. Yeah. So anyway, all right. We're still talking about speech because these kids keep doing great things. They do. On to Allstate. Yep. Mount Vernon High School participated in the state individual speech contest at Kennedy High School in Cedar Rapids on Saturday, March 10. Woo. Team took 34 events to contest and received 29. 29 Woo. Division ones. 29. <laughs> That's a lot. That's a lot. That's almost as old as I am. Yes. <laughs> almost. Then, Lisbon High School <coughs> speech team competed at the state individual speech contest on Saturday, March 10 at Kennedy High School in Cedar Rapids. Each event performed before three judges and received a rating. At least two judges had to give a one rating in order to get an overall one, Division I rating. So Lisbon received 13 Division I ratings. That's great. That's good. That's three, three judges have to agree. Yeah. Isn't that what I just read? Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's pretty good. good. So there you go. Oh, we'll talk about that later. Yeah, that's coming up. Don't talk about that. We're not going to talk about don't that. Don't talk about that. Okay, we're not going to talk about it. Why? You don't want to talk about it. I thought that was me. Yeah, that's it Brenda Langenberg. That's like, she's setting up the Smithsonian. Woo! So this is another picture of Brenda Langenberg, who's chair of this committee, yeah. and she's holding these two historic photographs. Oh, they're beautiful yeah. photos. Yeah. Oh, that's worth the worth the admission. Hey, there is no admission. I was just going to say you need to say that because it's free. Say that again. Free. Free! You want to see the Smithsonian? Woo! It's free. It's free. Smithsonian. Woo! Smithsonian. Woo! Free. What we want to do? Smithsonian. Woo! Smithsonian. Woo! We want to challenge exhibitors or people that are coming to visit the exhibit. And since they're not paying an admission, perhaps they take that same amount of money, put it into a business, buy something. Oh, that would be great. Get a little drink. Get a little food, get yeah. a little snack, get a little something. Buy so some let's flowers. say it's a twenty dollar admission yeah, fee. Yeah, even yeah, twenty. So you bring your friends, and it's free. It's so free. then you have four people. That's eighty bucks you have to spend. We at challenge dinner. you to spend that amount that you, you would have paid on an admission somewhere yeah. here in Mount Vernon. Go spend it in bed. Silver Spider. Yeah. Go spend it in Blooming, Blooming Acres. Exactly. Go spend it at Ireland Press. Yes. Maybe Bowman's. Buy yourself a new suit. Yes. Any of the shops in the First Street building? Did I miss any anybody? On Main Street, Ooh, buy some lot. antiques from Polly Ann's. Yeah, lots. You don't give them to Don't start. Go over to Care Pro. Yes. Buy some chapstick. Exactly. <laughs> I think I got EOS. That's good stuff. All right. All right. Good stuff. So here's oh, a nice story. Beautiful. For local students, Smithsonian exhibit hits. Woo! Oh, this is amazing. I it love this. And we're job. still working on this exhibit. Mm. Um, and it's really cool. So. Really With the cool. Smithsonian's hometown team Woo! of Sports Shape America traveling exhibit quickly approaching, students at Mount Vernon High School have gotten into the action. Joanne Gage, love her, an English and journalism teacher at the school, has been yes. teaching a video journalism class for the last three years during J term. Yes. Two week period in January where our class focuses intensively on one subject. Yep. When word came that the Smithsonian Woo! was coming, guess what they did? What they do? I know what they did. You tell that. Gage was inspired to try something different with the class. Here she is. We were going to teach a video journalism class anyway, and we just decided because of hometown teams, 
we could focus on sports this year. Your person, your impersonations are spot on. Did I miss a Smithsonian? Woo! Love oh, no. to hear you. You have such a keen <coughs> ear for impersonations. Sounds just like her. It was just like her. I was like right there with her, sitting next to her. Like her pets at... are like looking at TV like this. They're just, oh. Because they think it's her. I know. <laughs> All right. So. What they've got in this um, exhibit, yeah. um, these kids put together these eight videos. Yes, they did. And then they got a, um, a grant from the Smithsonian Woo! to purchase this equipment. So in this exhibit, you've got earphones yep. and you've got a little uh, Kindle that has these individual videos already programmed into it. Mm -hmm. And so play. you can sit and watch these videos made for these kids. So some of the subjects include Logan Callity, Callie, Logan our champ, Cal Archer, champion uh, student Archer, yep. Drew Adams, touchdown king. Yep. Tristan Wirfs, we love him, been on the show, friend. Oh, shout out to Tristan. Oh, we like him. Woo! Mount Vernon Mustang to University of Iowa Hawkeye, Jeff Meeker. <gasps> Jeff Cornell Meeker. Cornell College's winningest, winningest volley, volleyball coach. Shirley Ryan. And Shirley Ryan, Mount Vernon Shirley volleyball Ryan. coach. And an Iowa tradition, six on six women's basketball. Yeah. And Vance Light, Mount Vernon wrestling coach. Yeah. And an unforgettable season, the 2012 state championship boys basketball team. Awesome. This is what you can learn when you go to the Smithsonian. Woo! And I thought, I bet you thought it was all boring Smithsonian stuff. But listen. Woo! I don't think those words work together very well, Barney. Oh. Well, Woo! Wait till you see it. Wait till you see it. It's going to be cool. I cannot wait. All right. Oh, here we go. Oh, what's this? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. The Sunday American Legion oh, Squadron Sal, 480, Commander Brad Knight, left, presents a $200 check to the Hawkeye Area Community Action Program. We call that Hey Cap. Sal, the reservoir. Need a Hey Cap. Sal, awesome. the Hey Cap. Thank you, Sal. Thank you, Brad. Lots of green. Get now, ready for the okay. patties. Everybody, it's not all about the Smithsonian. Woo! Not all about that. Seriously, this is going to yeah. be amazing. This is going to be amazing. Yes. So, so after or before you go to the Smithsonian. <laughs> is anyone else having as much fun as I am right now? Me. Oh, okay, good. Cornell College Office of Intercultural Life is sponsoring a diversity week. First week of Block 7, which starts Monday. Monday. The office has planned many events covering a wide variety of topics around the week's theme of Creating a culture of equity. All right, they're all listed in here. So we have an international culture expo, which would be really fun. That's in the Thomas Commons lobby, three to yes. five p.m. on Monday, March twentieth. Twenty. Is that Monday or is that Tuesday? No, that's wait. Seventeenth, eighteenth, nineteenth. That's Tuesday. Tuesday, yeah. Um, Finders keepers, an overview of cultural appropriation and its consequences. They've got In Unity, A History of Black and Asian Activism and Allyship in America, uh, Building Equity at the Intersection, Conversation with a Jewish African American Trans Male. Yeah. Seriously. That's a, That's a lot of, of diversity there. 22nd, Black Panthers and Brown Equity. We got Out of My Out of Our Minds, Building Equity with Mental Health Challenges, Hedges Conference Room. We've got Dance Arts Iowa Hip Hop Workshop with Dassey Lee. Do you guys remember Dassey so Lee? I totally YouTubed her. Yeah. <laughs> and she is an incredible pop lock street dancer. Maybe and, at, oh. at the um, dance break today, Kim will show us some of those moves. I can. All right. So anyway, that's happening this next week too. Yes. That's going to be exciting. Google baking. What's a Google? Google is the pastry. Is it? Does yes. it got sugar in it? I think. Yeah, you can have it. Mm -hmm. Okay, folk dancing. Oh my gosh, just go to it all. Isn't just this go exciting? sleep in the orange carpet and just attend it all. Oh my goodness. And that's all free too. It's all free too. Yeah. You don't have to spend a buck. And this is free. Free. Mm -hmm. oh, free, free, free. You know, speaking of, why don't we talk to Brayden about that? Because she's like in the exhibit there, now. Where they're setting up. Yes. Brayden. Brayden. Are you there? Hello. Oh dear. Hello. Joe. Kim. Are you there? Good morning, Mount Vernon, Lisbon. I am here with Maddie Steed at the coolest exhibit in Mount Vernon, Iowa. Actually, the coolest exhibit in the whole country. I'm here at the First Street Community Center and we're here at the Hometown Team's Smithsonian exhibit. It's getting all set up, everybody's bustling around, and I'm here, like I said, with Maddie Steed, who has been a volunteer and has been helping with this. 
Hi, Maddie. Hello. Welcome to the show. <laughs> I'm so excited. So, obviously, we are here. And if anybody has not had a picture with this um, amazing cardboard cutout that Chris Andrews and his son made, please, 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 please get, come and get your picture taken. But Maddie's going to talk to me about some of the projects she's been working on and the rest of this exhibit. So, let's go over here, Maddie. Uh, so, what we first started working on was this display case. Uh, it came really awful. Like, it was disgusting. Mm. Um, it was all, like, dirty, like, wood, like, all crusted. And um, the bottom, there was fabric on it and, like, a bunch of crap inside. So, we cleaned all the crap out and, like, ripped up all the fabric. And, uh, and then we washed all the windows, and that was the longest part. That took forever. <laughs> <laughs> that windows was, are unbelievable. Aren't they? they get so dirty. Oh, it's, it's crazy. You just don't know. You just don't uh, know. No, I know. But this was found like downstairs in the mm -hmm. basement of Jim Moore's shop or something. Yes. It's like drag yes. up. It hasn't been used for 25 years. Mm -hmm. You yes. made this so <laughs> beautiful. Oh, thank you. It is yeah. just amazing. And you had to. What did you have to do here? The, uh, yeah, we had to like scrub down all the wood because like all the dirt was like flooded on it. And then we painted uh, and we put um, the resin stuff on it and we put like the finishing. Uh, and then uh, and then we decorated the inside. This is just this is just the entryway, people. There are so many displays. The first street building staff and volunteers have really recreated this gym. That, uh, that you you know and love as the middle school or high school gym, the old one? Well, it is a complete, completely new space. Maddie, tell me though, how did you um, get, end up getting involved in this? So, uh, I'm really interested in history and like museums and stuff. That's like my favorite place to be. Um, and what I really want to do is I want to be a, a museum curator. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I know, it, it's a little weird, but no, <laughs> I love it, I love it. <laughs> uh, my, my science teacher, actually, I was talking to her about it, and she's like, well, you gotta like build some stuff up, you gotta start like doing stuff, because this is like, it's a hard field to get into, and you're gonna have to like have a good resume. And so I was like, I was like oh, okay, so I went and I talked to um, our counselor, Ms. Barron, and, um, and she's like, yeah, I can get you an internship um, this summer at the African American Museum. Oh, cool. And um, sadly, that didn't work out just because of like scheduling reasons. So I was really disappointed. I was like, I was like, dang, I don't have anything. And she's like, well, I'll keep looking. And, um, and then a couple days later, she came and she's like, hey, Mrs. Gage and Mr. Browning need your help. So <laughs> we went. Um, okay. So I went to Mr. Browning, and they talked about like um, this um, hometown. Space. Space. Yes. Space. Yes. Um, and I had never heard about it before. I knew that there was a J Troom class on it that they were working on. Right. Two teachers. And so I was like, I was like, oh well, most of it's done, right? And they're like, oh no, we've got to like set the whole thing up still. And so I was like, I was like, this is great. Like I get to do the setting up, like what I want to do. <laughs> and he and so um, Mr. Browning was like, yeah, I'll get you in touch with Joe. Uh, and so I started, Joe, our yes. sweet darling Joe Jennison. Yes, he's great. <laughs> yeah, so I, I got in touch with him, and he was like, "Yeah, we really just need you to clean out this display cabinet, and like, and and then people will be play, places like everywhere, and they'll tell you where to go and where to put stuff." So I was like, "This is great! Like, I'll do this." So I get here, and I see the cabinet. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I, I had no idea how much work that this would be, and how much like preparation was involved. I didn't know that this was such a, a big thing. I, it's I, a huge thing. Yeah, I didn't know that like, I didn't know it was like Smithsonian was like running it. I didn't so like, I, you're working for I know, the Smithsonian, yeah. yeah. I was like, <laughs> what? Like as soon as we walked in here and we're like just setting stuff up, I was like, oh my gosh, this is like way bigger than I was expecting. So it's, it's quite a feat. I want to come over here and talk about a couple exhibits that uh, Maddie was talking to me about. So over here, she was just saying about how there was a J term class. Um, that's January the, in Mount Vernon. And they do a whole uh, display here. They did a whole display here with um, all of these different athletes. Are these from, these are all from Mount Vernon, correct? Yes. Uh, cool. 
like they've got little iPads of information and yeah, audio. Each of them has um, a little video about each topic. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is the coolest. There's just, oh my gosh, it's everything. Wrestling, football, archery, yay! Basketball, yeah. is that, that's got to be six on six spot. Basketball, yes. Jeff Meeker, oh my gosh, look at all these highlights. Check it out, this is, this is our old hometown team. And they, there's, they're from all over Iowa. There's all different sort, sorts of things. But I want to talk about Betty's favorite exhibit, which is what, Betty? It's the marching band. Yeah, marching band. <laughs> <laughs> so it's all, it's all over here. Yes, yeah, so it's this whole table. And you see oh, the old uh, the uniforms. uniforms. Oh my gosh, and all of the pictures. And oh, all of the memories. This is just, this is, this is what history is all about. And the, just the memories and coming back to them. And I'm just so happy that you're a part of this and that this is, yeah, this is going to be a very exciting um, thing for everybody to come and check out. So the, the exhibit is it opens March 19th and it closes, it's on for six weeks here. At, um, in Mount Vernon. So stop by the First Street Community Center. It's free. There's also in the Uptown Theater, there are going to be um, different seminars and stuff going on and lectures about these past experiences and authors and former athletes. So please don't miss out on this. First Street Community Center, Uptown, Uptown Mount Vernon. Come on down to the old middle school, old high school gym and Check out this amazing display, Maddie. Thank you so much for showing us around. And this is just a piece of it, people. Don't miss out. Joe, Kim, Mount Vernon, Lisbon, back to you. Oh, oh my goodness. You know, those pictures really don't even they don't. begin you to tell the story. You have to go. Yeah. Because it, and it's just, it's, if you attended that school, it's so special because I feel every time I walk into that gym and that smell of the gym and the floor and the environment and then you see the old lockers and then you see the old scoreboard. It's just so, it's like coming home, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm already home. But if you, you know, if you haven't been, it's just amazing. It's amazing. And Maddie did such a nice job. Good you interview, know, Brayden. What? Maddie. What a joy she has been to work with. I really enjoy that girl. Um, thank you, Maddie, for your help, and thank you to all the volunteers. We've had a really good crew yeah. doing that kind of work throughout this whole thing, yeah, and just, it's been fun. It's so, you know, from peeling the backs off of Velcro to moving giant heavy lockers and things oh off gosh. of things. And this is like a really heavy exhibit, we should say, too. Yes. So it will be very difficult for you to pick something off and walk out with it. Yeah, because don't. it's heavy. Yes. Yeah. Or stretch out before you do. No, just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Okay, you have to get by me. That's right. Her. Yeah. Docent of docent. Yeah. Her. I spent the week working on our wrestling exhibit, so I think I'm ready. I'll take you off. No. I don't think they kick in wrestling, but it makes for good sound. All right. Before Speaking we go to wrestling. sports, okay. Before we go to sports, yes. let's do a quick update to the paper. Update um, to the paper. It does say that Balderdash Diddy is performing this Saturday. And with all of the things going on, and all we've had some schedule uh, snafus, and so we will not be performing this month at um, the farmers market. So look for us this summer. And we should say the farmer, farmers market is still going on. Yes, it is in the community center. It'll yes. be in the hallway. Yes. All right. So come to the farmers market. So there's market. a lot going on on Saturday. But there's just a lot going on, and so we just decided to simplify and take it from there. So sure. we'll be in the future. Hold tight. Okay. Is this the longest Good Morning Mount Vernon Elizabeth? It is. So let's hit sports. Let's go. Okay. okay. Talk about archers. Archers. Stay. Awesome. Wonderful. Saw 3D archery for the first time in my life. It was fascinating. Okay. Where they shoot at 3D targets. Hey yeah. Yeah. And they move them around. Yeah. It's amazing. Okay. okay. What's up next? Uh, sharks sliced metal wins. Sharks. Yes. The MACR Sharks swim team competed at the state meet and the Marshalltown YMCA. Woo! Five individual state titles belong to local swimmers, including Devin Peary Woo! in the 200 freestyle, Sydney Jones in Woo! the 100 backstroke, and Abby Jones in the 200 individual medley, the All 50 right. breaststroke, and the 100 breaststroke. Excellent job. And we got a whole big Mount Vernon Boys track and field. Well, we're just There's starting track and field yeah. starting. These are prep stuff. Yeah. Okay. Good first meet for oh, Lisbon Boys at UNI's indoor, indoor tickets. 
They're Dickinson. golfing. Lisbon They're Boys track and field team at Strong showing at the indoor Dickinson re relays. You and I, Tuesday, March 6th. Awesome. Oh, good for them. Then, yes. look at this. What's up? Oh, spring schedules. There we go. Post that on the refrigerator. There they are. Yep. If you don't know when something's happening, it's your own fault. Because they are posting them right we here. We love the sun, don't we? We love the sun. We love the sun. They keep us going. Oh. oh. There we go. There's some wrestlers. This one's got tattoos. Rams crown three All-Americans, ladies and gentlemen. Josh Martin placed fifth at 141 pounds at the NCAA Championships March 9 and 10 in Cleveland, Ohio. Woo! Good Cleveland, for him. Ohio. I hope he went to the museum. Oh, I hope that's a good one. I'd like that museum. Yeah. All right. One. Cornell's three qualifiers combined oh, for yeah. 10 match wins and three All-American performances during a strong showing. That was a strong show. Strong. At the NCAA Division Three Wrestling Championships at Cleveland Public Auditorium in Ohio. Awesome. So. And then Cornell Senior, 10th at NCAA Meets. Living sure, we say that yeah, name we almost say every name week. All the time. Placed 10th in pentathlon at NCAA Indoor Championships. I don't even want to know that. I don't even. Good for her. I'm glad that there are people in this world that can do those things. You know what? I would be a one path elite and I would fail. I think we need to put her in the exhibit athlete. because she could just run over everything. You know, we should have so many of these local kids we talk I'm about serious. all the time. And speaking of local kids, you know where it starts? You know where all these hometown teams start? They start with Marathon Monsters. <laughs> it's back. Crystal Eskelson has done that forever. Elementary school running club for kids K through 4th and middle school running club for 5th and 6th graders. And you can register. Registration is 45, includes a t-shirt and shorts. Did we did it? We did it? We did it. You think we did it all right? I think we did it. Did we say the word Smithsonian yet? Woo! I think that's the word of the day. You are correct. <laughs> ah Woo! Smithsonian! Woo! Okay. Now we're going to dance break. Come hey, in! Hey, come in! Hey! Hometown team. Sorry, I'm trying to put that in so you can dance. Hey! 